National Parks. What is a national park? According to the Britannica Encyclopedia, a national park is an area set aside by a national government for the preservation of the natural environment. A national park may be set aside for purposes of public recreation and enjoyment or because of its historical or scientific interest. Let's visit some of the famous national parks. The Great Smoky Mountains are located in Tennessee. They are known for the Appalachian Trail. They are also known for the fog that rises above the mountains, giving the look of the Smoky Mountains. The next national park is the Grand Canyon National Park, located in Arizona. The Colorado River runs through it. The canyon averages 10 miles across and is 277 miles in length. You can also rent boats to travel the Colorado River. The Rocky Mountain National Park is in Colorado. It is known for black bears, aspens, bighorn sheep, and the Garden of the Gods. Zion National Park is in southwest Utah. Some of the sites you will see are the Emerald Pools. You'll see lots of wildlife like the lizard and the California condor. The Badlands National Park is found in South Dakota. It is known for Mount Rushmore, the mountain of presidents, who represent our growing country. The Badlands are called this because of the rough terrain, the temperatures, and the lack of water. You'll find lots of different plants and animals when you explore the park. Moving on to Yosemite National Park, you will find it in California. It has the tall redwood trees. At one time, you could drive through the trunks. You will also see beautiful waterfalls and lots of different wildlife. Next on the list is the Yellowstone National Park. This park is found in Wyoming. It is known for the old faithful geyser. This geyser erupts frequently and is predictable when it will erupt. The bison will walk across the road and right in front of your car. So be careful when you are driving in the park. You will find bald eagles, which are our national bird. Next up, 
is the Glacier National Park. It is in Montana, and it's known for beautiful lakes, trails, and all kinds of wildlife. Then we have the Everglades National Park, which is located in Florida. It is known for airboat rides through the glades. We'll see alligators and also flamingo and a variety of other wildlife. Mammoth Cave is in Kentucky. It is known for being the longest known cave system. It has beautiful stalactites and stalagmites. The park has other sites that you can see as well. These are just a few of the national parks we have. If you can't go see one, visit it on a virtual tour and enjoy. We're going to take a little tour of the national parks of the United States using Google Earth. In order to get there, you're going to go to Google and search for Google Earth National Parks. here's where you'll end up. This map right here shows all the national parks in the United States and over here on the side is a nice list of them. Look how many there are. Now if you can't go there in person this is a great way to tour some of the parks. Let's start off with the one closest to Chattanooga the Great Smoky Mountains National Park. I'm going to click on it right here. All right, it's going to help us zoom in to the park just like we were going there. And here we are. We've arrived at the Smoky Mountain Great Smoky Mountains National Park. Now we can move around this is the Laurel Falls Trail, and I'm just kind of moving around, taking a little look at this trail since we're traveling and visiting the Great Smoky Mountain National Park. Now I'm going to head on over to the Ogle Cabin. We are traveling and we have arrived. And we can do the same thing we did a minute ago and take a little tour by uh, using our mouse to move around. Where shall we go next? Here we go. This is a popular two mile trail in the Great Smoky Mountain National Park and it goes to an elevation of 1400 feet. Let's look around and see what you can see from the point. Ooh, that's beautiful. All right, let's go back out and view some more national parks. We're going to zoom back out. And there we go. We're back at our overhead global view. I've never been to, let's look here. Ooh, here's one we all want to see, the Grand Canyon. Let's go. All right, here's a trail in the Grand Canyon. And it's a 7.9 mile trek. Let's see where it goes. We're going to follow this trail down. Look at the view. See that? It's amazing. Now I've been to Yellowstone before. It's a pretty cool national park. Can you guess what's there? It's a geyser and it's called Old Faithful. Look at that. We'll see. And there you have it. 
You can explore national parks all over the country using Google Earth National Parks. Now let's find out what to take on a trip to the national parks. Hello, today we're talking about United States National Parks. Now here's the list of things you'll want to take with you to the park. You want to take some good walking or running shoes, an extra pair of socks in case it rains and your shoes get wet, you want to take an umbrella and a poncho, some good sunglasses to keep the sun out, a backpack, you want to take a camera to take pictures, oh a homemade first aid kit with band-aids and cotton balls, you want to make sure you take some snacks some peanuts, some Nutri-Grain bars, you want to take a small towel, and how about a thermos with some water or whatever hydrates your body. Things we should not do is do not feed wildlife. That's very dangerous. And also, please, please stay on the trail. No climbing. Do not get off the trail. Thanks. At the Chattanooga Public Library, we have some great books on the national parks. If you'd like to check some out, go to chatlibrary.org and put them on hold to pick up at the branch nearest you. Thanks for joining us.